Many famous public spaces have axial streets pointing directly to where the ductless glands would be in the body of a man. The Church of the Madeleine and Palais Bourbon form a cross axis directly in line with the obelisk in La Place de la Concorde. On one side we have Napoleon's church venerating Mary Magdalene who is said to have started the royal bloodline of the Son of God. On the other side is the Palais Bourbon containing the lower house of the Parliament of France, known as the National Assembly. These two Roman-styled temples energize the gonads in the body of Paris, on either side of his phallus centered on the axe historique. The gland most associated with enlightened states is of course the pineal, which actually looks like a tiny pine cone in the center of the human brain. This colossal pine cone is in the courtyard of the Belvedere in the Vatican, a name which recalls the affluent town of the same name overlooking San Francisco. The pine cone is flanked by two peacocks, which are ancient symbols of resurrection that predate Christianity. Believe it or not, there is an empty black coffin I couldn't get a picture of behind the colossal pine cone that symbolizes the death and rebirth of Osiris. The pine cone in the private courtyard is actually a first century bronze that used to act as a fountain in front of the Temple of Isis in ancient Rome. In the Renaissance, Sixtus V built the library wing that closed off the courtyard, perhaps in order to hide pagan symbols not easily explained by the Catholic Church. The pineal gland of Paris marks one endpoint of a line starting at the Paris Observatory, whose construction was incidentally authorized by Louis XIV. This axis passes directly through the French Senate and the Luxembourg Gardens. This cosmic connection to enlightenment is not lost on me. Also notable is the fact that nothing aligns with the thymus or throat chakra. As the throat is associated with speaking and communication, it seems appropriate nothing should energize this center if secrecy is to be maintained. Each of the other alignments is an interesting case study for further analysis. Parc Monceau is right under the Vitruvian man's foot. His outstretched leg seems to point directly at the rotunda building where the gatekeeper lives. The tiny rotunda was designed by architect Claude Nicolas Ledoux, an interesting figure to be sure. Ledoux built 63 toll barrier buildings in the city wall built around Paris in the Ancien Regime to collect taxes. This tax wall was universally hated 